Hi guys, it's me, Jenny Pearl, but you can call me J for short. So, for today's video, I will share to you my understandings about Mandanas Garcia ruling. Ang magiging content ng video na ito is patungkol sa kung ano ang Mandanas Garcia ruling, how does this ruling started, who are the proponents, at kung ano ang advantages at disadvantages ng ruling na ito. So, let's start! What is Mandanas Garcia ruling? The Mandanas Garcia ruling is concerning the Internal Revenue Allotment or IRA follows a long and persistent effort of local government units and stakeholders demanding in greater autonomy and resources from the national government. How does this ruling started? The Mandanas Garcia ruling is resulted from the petition made by uh, Batangas Governor Hermilando Mandanas and former Bataan Governor Enrique Garcia Jr. before the Supreme Court on local government's shares on internal revenue allotment. According to petitioners, LGU shares should include all the national taxes. The Supreme Court affirmed that local government units are entitled to a just share on all national taxes co collected and not only from the Bureau of Internal Revenue or BIR. Who are the proponents of this ruling? The proponents of Mandanas Garcia ruling are the Batangas Governor Hermilando Mandanas and former Bataan Governor Enrique Garcia Jr. What is the advantages of Mandanas Garcia ruling? The advantages of Mandanas Garcia ruling is they provide opportunities to strengthen decentralization and improve social service delivery in the Philippines. What is the disadvantage of Mandanas Garcia ruling? So, the disadvantage of Mandanas Garcia ruling is the government will face a significant risk that the transition process could lead to a large gap of service delivery as a lack of coordination between national and local government and weak implementation capacity could delay the transition towards increased decentralization. In my opinion about this Mandanas Garcia ruling, it is not necessary to give the whole decisions to local government units or LGUs only because national government and local government units can work together to strengthen decentralization and improve social service delivery in the Philippines because I believe that two heads are better than one for the prosperous future of our country. That would be all. Sana may natutuan kayo and thank you for watching. Have a good day.